Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about common sense and food. I know, those two things don't go together very often these days. Um, I actually wanted to talk about it because I think we live in a world right now that's really swinging back and forth between extremes and I know I get really exhausted with all of the food information that's out there and everyone's opinions and all the things you should do, shouldn't do, can do, can't do. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think you can't eat freaking anything on this planet anymore according to everyone put together. Okay, okay. Not true, right? It's just flat out not true. So we gotta dial it back, zoom out and go, okay, common sense in food. Can we break this down and make it simple for ourselves? Because simple is best. Simple is best. And it's not easy, but it's best. So I wanna focus on simple and focus on common sense. And for common sense in food, I like to break it down into three parts. Part number one, don't follow fads. Fads, when was the last fad that was really amazing and helped humanity? Some of them are kind of fun, like acid wash jeans in the 80s. But see, even that depends on who you ask, if that was cool or not. Um, it just doesn't help, especially in the world of food. Goodness gracious, people get. One person decides that keto is the way to go and they put it in the right marketing campaign and now everybody thinks they should be keto. It's just not true. Don't jump on fad bandwagons. Help yourself out. Don't do it. Number two, read labels. Guys, this is so, so important. And when I'm feeling overwhelmed about all of the noise that's out there about food, man, I just go right back to this. I'm gonna read a label. If it comes in a package, I wanna know what's in it. If I cannot read an ingredient, I'm not touching it. I've looked them up, okay? If you've never done that, you might add that to this label reading exercise. Just go start looking them up. You'll find out that on a lot of baked goods especially, up to 50% of those ingredients are gonna be completely chemical ingredients. They're not food. Uh, things that start with modified, stay away. They're not good. So many emulsifiers and dough enhancers. The thing is you can try to memorize a whole list of those, but you don't need to. Just look at the label and go, I don't know what that is. All right, I'm not eating it. Okay, simple, common sense. I don't know what it is, I'm not eating it. In that regard, then it doesn't matter if somebody put organic on the front of the package or keto on the front of the package, it doesn't matter now. You're gonna flip it over, you're gonna see what's in it and go, hmm, I guess I don't really care if it's keto or organic because I still don't know what 10 of those things are or even two of those things are, so it's not food to me. That's how I look at it. I'm not eating it, okay? Um, number three, food common sense, eat whole foods. Whole foods are best, okay? Everyone, they're best because nature created them with all the components that they're supposed to have and so they exist in balance. And this is important to me because, yes, you can get into the nitty gritty here. How was it farmed? Was it sprayed? Um, how was it fed if we're talking about an animal product? And these things matter. And I'll talk about those in other videos. But when we're talking about common sense, this is a great place to start. Go for whole foods, okay? I wanna eat an apple. I wanna eat a banana. I wanna eat yogurt that's made with whole milk. I don't need it to be stripped of all the things. This can still apply in your bakery world too. Uh, you can create a bakery product that's made with whole grain flour. So all the grain, olive oil or avocado oil, super healthy fat, a whole egg, yay. Okay, so we can get whole foods in products that have been put together. Um, it doesn't all have to have been just plucked from the tree, okay? Because this is lovely, but again, it gets into the extremes. And I really want to talk about that some more in some other videos, but food, common sense. What were they again? Number one, don't follow fads, okay? One diet's not for everybody. So just because it got popular doesn't mean we should all jump on board and it doesn't mean all the other food that people are talking about is now bad. Number two, read labels. Gosh, that's so important. You've got to read labels. You need to know what's inside something. 
lots and lots of chemicals are in our food. If you can't read it, don't eat it. If you don't know what it is, take a pass. Number three, eat whole foods. You're gonna figure this out by reading a label. And of course you're gonna figure this out by, you know, am I just eating a carrot? Yay, it's whole, I love it. Um, those are some basics that we can all start with that will help us out a ton. Okay, food common sense. If we all go crazy about how we're eating, then we can't get healthy. And when healthy is our goal, that we really need common sense, okay? We don't need to be going crazy. Uh, we just don't. You guys are awesome. We're all capable of figuring out how to eat well and how to feed ourselves well and how to feel fantastic. And it doesn't require a PhD in anything to do it. So, what are those three things one more time? Don't follow the fads. Please, please, please don't follow the fads. Two, read your labels. Know what's in the food you're eating. If you don't, don't eat it. And number three, eat whole foods. Man, if you do those three things, your brain is gonna simmer way down and it's gonna go, okay, I'm doing some things that are good for me. This is common sense. And just doing those three things, you're gonna cut out a lot of stuff that's causing problems. And it, you didn't even need to do a whole bunch of research and write a thesis about it. And you just didn't even have to do that but you're gonna feel so much better and your body over time is gonna repair itself and it's gonna to start to feel better. So that's in a nutshell, simplify everyone. And with all the noise that's out there about food and diet and do this and don't do that and this hack and this trick and this trick and that hack, guys, if we listen to all that, we're gonna go bonkers. Don't go bonkers today, just simplify and use common sense. We think you're amazing. Have a great day.